Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Friday's trading, the 23rd of September 2016. Be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the uh, app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. In terms of uh, Asian markets overnight, certainly negative, Shanghai negative, the Nikkei negative. Obviously, we are still uh, reeling from the uh, lack of stimulus from the BOJ with the US DJPY still languishing at 100, which is actually negative. We've had a rally in the markets and the S&P 500 up to gap fill at 21.81. And that obviously, given the uh, potential output deal with Iran and Saudi now being touted, that certainly does sound like it was front running, uh, which I've been explaining to subscribers. Certainly a push higher on oil up to this 47, potentially 48 and even $50 can certainly come into uh, into play if that deal is accepted, which really is, it just sound very hard to be to be true for now, given the ongoing war in Yemen between Saudi versus Iran. Certainly, it does sound uh, very hard to be uh, to be accepted, uh, but but that certainly is a situation thus far. Uh, the U.S. dollar certainly has started to be bid, given, even given the fact that everybody was arguing that uh, Miss Yellen certainly did sound uh, very dovish. Uh, the U.S. dollar did drop, but not, nothing. Uh, very substantial at all. Uh, if anything, the Aussie and the Kiwi are certainly under pressure again, given the stronger dollar. Now, oil prices obviously up to 46. That certainly did help the uh, the S&P 500 rally. But 2181 is a cap on the S&P 500. If I just bring up the chart for you, certainly you can see a triple top pattern here at 2180, and the 60-minute chart certainly shows you the gap fill at 2181. So you certainly are capped on the uh, S&P 500, and that certainly will cause weakness on the uh, European markets as well, which we've seen today. Uh, also, with regards to European data this morning, the economic data certainly came out on the weaker side from Germany and Europe, uh, again, indicating further weakness, okay, uh, in terms of uh, the PMIs, okay. Uh, French GDP certainly came in on the weaker side as well, although their PMI certainly beat, so mixed data there, okay. In terms of uh, news flow, really, it's all about OPEC today. Uh, we do have central bank speakers uh, certainly uh, on tap later on. So again, keep an eye out for that. You have US PMI data. Baker Hughes rig count will be important as well in terms of the oil price movement. You have Canadian retail sales, which can be quite uh, a major market moving event. OK, but again, all eyes will be on the uh, on the actual OPEC news. Now, in terms of the Nasdaq, you do have uh, several bearish arguments for the Nasdaq. You have a uh, report with regards to iPhone 7. Uh, components, uh, a weak demand for those components, which in turn equals weak demand for the actual phone itself. And also, given the fact that we had the, the data breach uh, with regards to uh, Yahoo, again, that's certainly going to uh, impact sentiment and also weaker EU data. Now, let's look at the technicals first of all, uh, or after we've discussed the fundamentals now. Still struggling at Fib 75% in the daily chart, the German DAX, so watch out for that resistance level. 60 minute chart, you have multiple unfilled gaps below, so the German DAX certainly remains vulnerable, especially given the fact that the PMI services data certainly came in on the weaker side. Also, we have had uh, the uh, German uh, finance minister as well forecasting forecasting weaker demand going forward, forecasting weaker demand going forward. So again, that certainly is something that certainly has been ignored thus far. Euro still remains above 1.12. So again, that certainly will act as a key resistance level uh, or bearish uh, argument for the German DAX. Again, like I said, you have a massive gap to fill below at 10.440. And then you have uh, 10,390. So the German DAX, from my understanding, certainly remains vulnerable to the uh, downside. Okay, and looking for weakness below. French CAC, okay, French CAC. Let's just bring the daily chart first and foremost. Okay, French CAC again, struggling that FIB 75% resistance. It certainly did close the gap, but certainly stuck at that key resistance zone. 60 minute chart, uh, again, struggling, failing to even close the gap today. So again, not looking good. French CAC again, you have gap for the resistance at 4510, 4500 remains key resistance, and looking for weakness on the French CAC from my understanding. Okay, uh, again, let's look at the FTSE 100 now, folks. FTSE 100 is certainly languishing as well, although it is being helped by this OPEC news. And if the uh, if the deal does go through, then you are going to see quite an uh, impressive rally on the FTSE. Uh, the uh, GBP USD has dipped below 1.3. Again, that's certainly helping the FTSE uh, keeping afloat. If the uh, GBP USD starts to move back higher above 1.3, then you are going to see risk aversion. For now, we've bounced off uh, 6880 support. Okay, uh, and your resistance level remains at 6930. 
10 minute chart really is trading sideways in no man's land thus far okay uh, again you do look like you are going to potentially retest this 6920 zone and even 6930 in the back of opec news okay if the opec news obviously is negated and is denied and there's no deal then you are going to see one hell of a flush in the FTSE 100 so certainly be aware of the potential downside movement as well euro stocks last index okay let's just quickly look at euro stocks and i'll just confirm that my bias is bearish or not on euro stocks and i'm actually a short the euro stocks as well uh, from the 37 level okay looking for downside movement a daily chart obviously gap filled resistance being held 60 minute we certainly held the resistance at 3062 which was previous support equals resistance and now we're looking to flush potentially back down to 3010 and it'll also the gap fill so those are the two target zones below on the euro stocks on my shorts okay so again you have multiple gaps that need to be filled on the downside 10 minute chart at the moment still failing still languishing uh, in terms of the gap fill level as it draws for you uh, gap fill is currently in the region of 3050 so watch out for gap fill folks below you have gap fill resistance here okay so again that certainly is your uh, area to watch out for resistance at 3040 and again like i said looking for a test of 3010 which is the uh, 200 ma and then potentially gap fill below at 2980 if the markets really start to get perish okay you will need a, a spike in the euro for that though so bear that bear that in mind we will need a spike in the euro and you need to sell off in the price of oil too okay i think that's a market wrap be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of that 25 percent bonus goodbye now